Hello my friends, welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Today I'm pulling out my graphite pencils and I'm doing an egg study. Why don't you join me? All right, let's draw our egg. I just want to show you what I'm using today. I've got my little visual journal out. It's Bristol Smooth Paper. It's five and a half by eight inches. And I'm going to use that landscape. So I'm going to put it this way. Let me just make sure that's more or less straight for you guys to see. And I think that's okay. I hope so. I have all of my graphite pencils out. I have HB, 2B, 4B, and 6B. I don't know which ones I'm using yet. I've got a couple of mechanical erasers with different size tips. I have, as usual, my little paintbrush that I love to use to wipe off dust and eraser bits. And I have my bunch of blending tools. And what I'll do is leave a description, a description. I'll leave a link in the description below of what I ended up using. Okay, so why don't we start? Now, I'm not someone who's very good at drawing shapes just freehand. I take a lot of time to draw stencils, and this is a lot of time that I'm taking here. What I've done here is I practiced and practiced, and this is as close as I could get to an egg. I hope you can see that all right. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this stencil, and I'll just leave it up for you. If you want to download it, I'll put it in the description, a link in the description. You can download it and print it and use it to, you know, get your egg shape if you like. That's what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is grab, I think, my 2B pencil if I can find it. Yeah, I've got a 2B pencil here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to transfer it. I'm just going to kind of go around the shape this way. If you have just a very easy shape, you can transfer it this way. It's just a guideline, you know? And then you can refine it later. And I want to put those lines in there. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. So I kind of have the outline of my egg, which is not very straight right now but I will go around and try to straighten out that line a little bit and I'm, I've got my 2B so if ever I switch to another pencil I'll let you know I decided to do an egg this week as a study I've been doing more studies lately because I'm trying to refine my techniques and work on shading and realism a little bit. So I chose to do the egg because on my Thursday art and dinner date on my website, rainfrancescreations.com, the, the art prompt that I chose this week is eggs. <laughs> so I figured, why not? Why not draw an egg? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take my little eraser here. This is called Factus BM2. It's just got a, th a thick tip. You know? I like these mechanical erasers. They're easier to use than the, um, the ones that you use like this because um, they're great for detail. Now I'm likely going to be shading this egg so this part is probably unnecessary, but I do want to see the shape of the egg there. And this is the first time I'm doing an egg. I may have said that before, but that's, uh, that's what I'm doing. I watched a couple of videos on how to draw eggs, and um, it looks easy, but we shall see. <laughs> now, what I'm going to start with first is some light shading. So I think I'm going to grab my HB pencil. This is my HB and I'm going to do some shading and what I'm going to do is lines. Okay, I want to shade the background as well as the egg. So the background here I'm going to shade with lines and I'm going very lightly. And I will be darkening this after, but right now I'm just going to start with the lines in HB. And I'm not getting any lines into my egg, okay? And 
And when you use your pencil, don't forget to turn it once in a while so you don't wear it all down on one side. And I'm just going to kind of stop where my line is here. And as for under the egg, I'm going to shade with lines, but they're going to be horizontal lines. Because if you think of a table, usually you think horizontal. When you think of the wall, you think vertical. Because if we shade everything the same way, it's not going to have any depth to it. You know what I mean? And I'm still using my HB. I got some into the egg, but I'll just go and erase that. And I'm going to actually a little more shading up here and I, I know I'm gonna get some into the egg but I will I will erase that all right I'm gonna erase that I'm erasing gently because I don't want to ruin my paper If you erase really hard, sometimes you you can rip your paper or just wear it down and then it's hard to add more shading on there. Alright, I think I missed a spot here. There we go. Okay, now for the egg itself. I still have my HB. And what I'm going to do is kind of circular. If I think of an egg, okay? I'm thinking that it's round. So I want to do kind of, you know, this kind of shading here on this side and it's going to get smaller and smaller until it kind of, you know, gets like this. You see what I mean? Kind of circular. And then it gets bigger and bigger as we go. I'm just trying to make the shading stand out a little more. And I may erase some. Like I said, I've never done this before. see how the egg looks in the end. Now my light source is coming from around here so I want my shadow to be over here so I'm just gonna work in a shadow right now with my HB. Maybe bring it out from the bottom of the egg here just to have that in there for now. when I blend it, I'm hoping that it'll look a little better. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to maybe darken the line of my egg. And I don't like the point here. I'm going to fix that. Eggs don't normally come to a point, right? I'm going to fix that to make it round. And I'm going to erase that point. No, oh, I used my hand. I don't normally do that. There we go. So I'm just going to continue shading and if my light source is coming from here, this side of the egg should be lightly shaded or not at all, possibly. 
I'm thinking about this whole area here that should not have any shading in it at all. Because if the light is on it, it should be white. If it's a white egg, that is. I, I guess mine is a white egg. Okay, so I've, I've done that. And I think I'm going to take my 2B now and I'm going to really darken up the behind the egg, all right? And I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching. Cross hatching is basically crisscrossing, right? Mm. My cat just jumped down. There might be some barking in this video, possibly. I'm waiting on a delivery and my Rottweiler dog, Raven, is an amazing alarm system. <laughs> She's got a big bark, so if the delivery person comes to the door, even, even if she doesn't knock on the door. The raven will know. And she will bark. Alright, so that's a little darker. And I'm going to try to make the outline of the egg just a little darker on the top to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to be blending all this after. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. But I want the, I guess the table, we'll call it the table. I don't want it to be as dark as the wall. So I'm going back to my HB and I'm just going to go ahead and shade again very lightly with the HB. And I'm following those horizontal lines. Okay, let's grab the 2B again, and I'm going to make sure that that line shows a little more. Okay, and with my 2B, I'm going to darken that shadow. just under the egg here. Let's make that line a little darker because it is in the shadow here. I'm going to extend that shadow out a little bit more. Okay, for now I'm good with that. Now I've still got my 2B pencil here and I'm going to darken the egg just a little bit in certain areas. And I'm always going to try to keep the shape of the egg, you know, contouring the shape of the egg with my shadowing and my shading. I will be erasing, but right now I'm just going to add the shading all over certain areas of this egg. I'm looking at a reference photo of an egg right now. And it's, it's hard for me. <laughs> I can't figure out what to do. <laughs> so you guys are learning as I am here. I'm going to put more 
more shading here. And I'm going to avoid that area there that I erased. Okay, so why don't I start blending a little bit? I've got, this is my favorite blender for graphite. It's called a a foam tip blender. The brand that I have is S-O-F-F-T. That's soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend. Now for the wall, I'm going to try to blend in the direction of the wall vertically. But I may end up doing as I'm doing now, just some circular blending. And I'm not pressing down hard. You don't want to press down hard. Let's just see how this turns out. All right, let's do the table. Vertically, not vertically, horizontally at first. I'll leave the shadow for now. And then if you want to, you can blend in circles to try to make it a little more blended there. Okay, but you can still see that horizontal shading, which I really like. Now for the egg, I'm going to just gently blend in circles. For now, I'm good with that. Let's do the shadow. Just circular blending. All right, I'm gonna kick it up a notch and I'm gonna grab my 6B. Now this one is actually called extra black, but to me it's the equivalent of a 6B, so I call it a 6B. And I'm looking at my reference photo here and I'm seeing the darkest parts of my drawing. The darkest parts are the wall, the shadow, and some parts of the egg. So I'm just going to add that vertical shading. And if I get any of this into the egg, I will just erase it. Because this 6B is pretty dark. And I'm at an odd angle here for the camera. <laughs> so, normally I would probably switch my, my drawing pad to the other side so that I could draw and shade easier, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing properly. I want it to be pleasing to watch. I'm turning my pencil a little bit. Yes, I said I got interrupted there, so I turn my pencil once in a while so I don't wear it down all on one side. I probably have said that several times already. But with the price of art supplies these days, it's worth saying more than once. <laughs> Now, if I look at my reference photo, it's a black and white photo of an egg on a table. I'm looking at it and I'm really trying to find the darkest areas. And like I said, it's the wall, but part of the shadow is even darker, but I'm gonna get into the detail after. I just wanna establish the dark areas first. And this is gonna help me 
to figure out if I'm actually uh, shading this properly. I mean, it does look like an egg already. It does definitely look like an egg, but I want to make sure that I do my best here. So I'm looking at the egg and there's a line across. Let's see. I'm going to sort of outline it gently about here. And it goes in and about here. So all of that middle part is darker. Because if the light comes here, all of this is, is lighter. And then as the egg curves, we've got the darker shadow here. From my understanding, <laughs> that's what it looks like. And I'm shading in circles, by the way. Okay, so I've got that darker area there. And then there's another darker area here. I'll kind of outline it for you. About like that, okay? There's a shading there, or a shadow there, I should say. Now, I don't want to lose the shape of my egg because these two are similar colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and really just put a, a straight outline with my 6B. There, so it's very obvious where the end of the egg is compared to the shadow. So why don't I go back to my 2B and I'm going to add some circular shading here just lightly with the 2B, because this is also in the shadow, but there's some kind of reflective light that comes up. So it's not as dark as these two areas. This is what I'm learning, you see. I'm a self-taught artist. I never went to art school, because I never thought I wanted to. Well, that's another story. Maybe I'll tell you after. <laughs> I'm going to use my 2B and make the outline here. There we go. Now, also down here, we've got a little bit of a darker area. And it, I'm, when I say dark, I don't mean this dark. It's just a little, a little darker here. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is first, before I forget, I'm going to erase those lines in that light area that I want to remain highlighted. Okay. And it actually goes down here too, to the bottom of the egg, about there. I'm going to grab my HB and I'm going to give that egg an outline here because I erased some of the, some of the outline. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I may have to, uh, let me erase that. I'm sorry, my friends. I do have to turn this because I can't get it at the right angle. Promise I won't do this too often. But you know how it is when you're drawing. There we go. Let me try to get back. Let me stand up and see how that looks. I want it right in the middle for you. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, where's that little eraser again? Okay. So what I'll start to do, I think, is some shading. I'm going to start with the foam tip blender. And just shade everywhere. And I don't mind if some of that graphite gets into the highlighted areas. Because I can always erase after. I want it to look nicely blended. I will have to come in with my blending stump to finish it off though. While I'm here, I'm going to grab that 6B again. 
I seem to have not put any shading in this spot here for some reason. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend the dark areas of the wall. And the shadow. And when I do the finishing touches, I'm going to come in and erase stuff there. But I'm not, I'm not there yet. So I have my blending stump. This is a 3 8 size, 3 8 of an inch size. But it doesn't matter. You can use any size blending stump. As long as it's not like um, a tiny one like that, that might be too rough on the egg. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to try to blend the egg better. The foam tip blender is great but the blending stump is even better. Now what I'm noticing on the egg is that at the top here there's a little bit of highlighting going on before I reach that shadow which actually comes out a little further. blend that so that everything is uniform. Okay, and I've got my tiny little Tombow mono eraser here and I'm just putting in a highlight here so I don't forget. And I'll do more detail on that after. I just don't want to forget that spot. So I've got the blending stump again. And like I said, I'm going to blend everything to try to make it more... I was about to say blendy. Uh, sometimes my vocabulary isn't... Oh, I can't even think of a word to say. <laughs> Do you have those days, my friends? <laughs> I was going to say, sometimes my vocabulary ain't with it. <laughs> oh, goodness. laughing at myself. I think that's looking okay. Oh, this is so relaxing. You know, I'm someone who loves to hear blending sounds like what they call it, ASMR. It's very relaxing for me. I just have a paper towel here and I'm wiping off my blending stump to try to get some of that graphite off. And if you want to find out how I clean my blending stumps, I've, um, I have a video on how to clean your blending stumps and I'll leave that in the cards above and in the description below and it's super easy I'll tell you right now but if you want a vi visual check out the video I use sandpaper and I just sand off the edges and it works really really well I don't do it as often as I should but that's something that uh, you can tell when your blending stump is too full it just doesn't blend well anymore Using circular motion by the way I'm not doing back and forth it may look that way but it's a uh, circular motion blending okay I'm not crazy about that stripe here so what I think I'm gonna do is take some more of that 6b and I'm gonna bring it out a little more but I'm not using too much. I'm very gently adding some. I'm going to add some here too and see what happens. Maybe take some 2B and blend some 2B into that 6B in hopes that it'll erase that 
sort of stripe that I don't like. And if it doesn't erase it, you know what? I'm going to pretend this is an Easter egg. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring just a little bit of that graphite into this edge of the egg and then I'll use my eraser to make the highlights. Now I don't know if that looks any better. What I usually do is I have to stop my filming and look through my camera lens because I've got very bright lights here and I can't see very well. But I'm going to start blending up here a little bit. All right, so that's all blended. I'm going to take my eraser and try to just make sure that that line is straight. And I don't mind if there's a little highlight there. It kind of breaks up the page a little bit, you see? All right. Let me take my HB find it and I'm just gonna add a little bit of HB there all across here again. And with my foam blender, I'll just go ahead and blend that out. I just don't want it to look like I have eraser marks, that's all. Well, I looked through my camera lens and I can still see those stripes. I don't like it. So I've got my kneaded eraser here. I keep it in cling film so that it doesn't dry up. And I'm just going to sort of knead it around a little bit and pull off some of the graphite. And we're going to see if that works for me. because I find it's a little too striped. I don't like that. I was joking when I said it, it would look like, I would call it an Easter egg, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm not trying to draw an Easter egg, I'm trying to draw an egg. I'm really trying here. Well, while we're here, why don't we add a little highlighting? Is there anywhere else around here? There's a little less darkness in this area. Where else? Maybe I'll put a little bit of highlighting so that the shadow stands out. For the ends though, I'll use the little Tombow model eraser because that works very well.
I'm going to take my 2B and I'm going to try to fix this area here. stopping to look at my reference photo once in a while because I'm looking at that shading, you know? It does come out a little more down here and sort of fades up. Now let me see if I can blend that nicely so that it doesn't look like a stripe. Well, you know, on the actual reference photo I have, it does look like a stripe. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself. After all, this is just a study, right? We're just trying. Okay, before I look through my camera lens, what I'm going to do is add a little more shading to the bottom. I've got my 6B. And under the egg here, it's the darkest. So I'm putting in a lot of graphite. I want it to be the darkest area of our egg. It kind of comes up all the way like this. You know what I'm looking at right now, my friends? I think I made my shadow too high. I really do. I'm going to try to get rid of some of that. It should be maybe about here. and I'll put in some shade in here. Let's see if I can fix that. stump and blend in that darkest area. darker the outline that is so it stands out and up here too we don't want to lose the outline of the egg I may have to do it again my friends I'm sorry I'm gonna take my HB make sure that the egg is outlined. I don't want the outline on the top to be as large as the outline on the bottom. But I want to make sure it's there. <laughs> is this confusing to you? Does this bother you? Tell me in the comments. 
I used to watch this guy who did watercolors and he would go <laughs> like so fast and I was like, whoa, hard to follow. But the thing is, that's how we do it, you know, when we're not on camera. So that's how we should do it. We're trying to show how, how we do things, but it's hard sometimes because we want it to look good, you know? Let me take a look at that. I'm going to take my HB and I'm going to make some round shading here. Now this is just, I'm trying to kind of make it look oval. Okay. And over here too, just a little round shading. I want these two areas to blend better together, or these three areas, I guess. Because we've got the dark, the dark, and the mid-tone in here. But I don't like the way it's looking. So I thought maybe if I did some contour shading and then blending, it might look a little more eggy. And I'll do this area too. Because in reality, I do kind of like how it's looking right now. It's a little misformed, <laughs> malformed. It's not a perfect oval, but that's all right. Maybe that's all it needed. Let me take a look here. I'll give that a little bit of a shade, a uh, blend, I mean. I kind of want the lines to show a little bit. And I'm blending in, in the shape of the contour that I drew in, okay? I noticed here, this area here is too light, so I'm adding some more 6B. Just using little circles. And under here it should be a little darker. here and I'm, I'm using a very light touch because I kind of don't want to ruin what I just did but this is a good um, this is a good learning learning lesson for me, you know, because, you know, I, I've never done this before, and I want to learn how to do this. This is a 2B. You know, it's one thing for me to, to paint things and do celebrity portraits with a stencil, but just looking at an object and trying to recreate what I see is, um, it's never been easy for me. I'm blending in the contour of the egg, okay? A few circles there to blend in the middle. But overall, the contour of the egg. All right, let me take a look at that. I think I'm starting to like this a little better. <laughs> I'm going to put more contour lines.
all the way around the egg. They may not show. HB is what I'm using. I'm sorry. I talk so quietly sometimes I lose my voice. What I'm not liking is this area here. I'm going to grab my 2B. I'm going to add more contour lines here with the 2B. All right, I'm gonna grab my blending stump this time. And I'm gonna try to blend that area a little better here so it doesn't look so much like the end of an olive. <laughs> hey, maybe I can say this is an olive. <laughs> that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Oh no, I'm not doing an egg, I'm doing an olive. Can't you see that? <laughs> so I'm just going with the, the contour lines here to blend better. And I am pressing down with some force, not crazy force, but definitely pressing down. I bet you didn't think it would take this long for me to draw an egg, huh? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Feels like I've been here at it for an hour or something. Okay. Lastly, I'm just going to make sure that there's enough darkness down here at the bottom of the egg. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to call that a day and call that a learning lesson. And here underneath. And I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take a smaller blending stump just here. Don't want to. I just trailed off, didn't I? I said I don't want to. And I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to erase the line of the egg, the contour of the egg. So I'm going to have to go back in with the 6B and draw that out again. Draw that in again, draw that out again. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from that and see if there are anything, any other finishing touches I wanna do. Well, I'm really happy with how this looks now. I'm very happy that I added that extra shading and that I used the blending stump to blend all of that in the shape of the contour of the egg. Now, I think what I want to do is, I hope I'm not going to ruin it here, but I'm going to add a little bit of contour highlighting. And I don't mind if those lines show a little bit. I'm using a very light touch, by the way. A very light touch. Let's see. Is there anywhere else? Maybe a few more here. A very light touch. Don't want to overdo it. There's my cat again, jumping all over town. <laughs> now 
house is very quiet today otherwise. Okay. I think I'm good with this. What do you think, guys? Do you think I did a good egg? <laughs> Am I a good egg? I don't know. I'm very self-critical, but I'm glad that I did this. I don't do still life that often, and I should, because it really helps you to observe what you're seeing. I hope you enjoyed this drawing today, my friends. And if you did, please like and please subscribe to my channel. This channel is growing very slowly, but it's growing kind of consistently. <laughs> Um, I've had it for a couple of years now, at least two years, and I probably have about 300 subscribers now, and I love all you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and for leaving comments. And yes, leave a comment. I love your comments, and I do reply to all of them. And if you don't want to miss any more of my video uploads, please hit the notification bell. It really, really helps me, you know? And let me know in the comments if you did this drawing and how you enjoyed it, or if you got frustrated like I did. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, my friends. I'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Take care. Bye.